¿Quién es Fuerza Régida, Howdy? We would describe Fuerza Régida. Unique. Crazy. Spontaneous. Fuerza Régida. I used to cut hair. One of my clients said, hey, I got this band right there that's looking for a bass player. So I was just gonna be the bass player in the band. Came in, I played the bass all practice, and then they asked me, hey, do you sing? I was like, yeah, I sing a little bit. I sing a song. And they were like, hey, you wanna be the singer? I'm like, yeah, we're a group, all right. That's how we met. Then later on, we had met him, but he was like 14. We just be like, hey, what's up, little guy? Kids cashing out. We had a hit song in San Bernardino. Uno personal, it was a cover. It was not a hit, but it was like a hit because they were like, who the hell are these fat boys right here, you know, just singing, you know? But from there is history. 20 and 20. Doing some type of music that my culture did and like being famous for it was like one of my dreams. Cuando llegó la música mexicana a Los Angeles, ya estaba ahí, era el mismo flow. Todos con la tejana, todos con un piteado, todos con botas. For us, it's just music, so we love it. Like, we, my dad listens to this, we come out, and the homies listen to that, and it's just, that's what's special about it. It's nothing else, nothing so special, like, where it's different, it's just a certain music we grew up with, and we love it. Y ya empezó el flow de, hey, pues nos vamos a cambiar como queremos, y empezaron a agarrar el flow americano, um, los americanos empezaron a cantar, entonces se, se empezó a hacer una cultura diferente. Hey, now thank God, this genre is top number one. Our song right now is climbing the charts. I'm gonna say that right now, it's bigger than rap at the moment. We're taking over the whole thing right now. Reggaeton, all that. The other genres stepping into our genre, it gets me real happy, you know? Back in the day, they wouldn't look at our genre. And now, con todo respeto, they're going in and trying to come in in our numbers. We businessmen, come on, join us. We like hip hop, we like Lil Wayne, we all like Big, we all like Tupac, same thing over here, we all like Chalino. I gotta pay respects. One of the first Mexican American artists is Chalino's son. He would go speak English in his interviews, and nobody gives respects to that dude, so we wanna give respects to that dude. Es otro mexicano. Ahorita la gente no. Los que están en el top, hay como cinco, seis vatos más top. Y nadie quiere ser duetos, trozos. They think that the Mexicans are like that. that they always say that. No, Mexicans don't like to help, help, help each other out. And I'm letting you guys know the culture because that's how it is. So I say it and I say it again. The worst enemy of, of a Mexican is another Mexican. But I'm trying to sit here and tell everybody, hey, let's get united like we did a year back. Like everybody got united because this channel wasn't popping like that. We got united, look what we got. Now that we got here, everyone's again like, I'm cool, I'm cool. Nah, let's get united and let's kill the genre. Like you go to the rap genre, and everybody's doing future collab, reggaeton, four people on a track over here. The music's running so fast. You drop a song today, in a month, people are forgetting it already. It's the next one. I'm hearing in the industry like, hey, this guy got beef with this guy. This guy is sleeping with his girl. This guy is doing this. This guy don't answer this. Oh, he got this, that, this. But look what we did. Frontera Fuerza, Fuerza Peso, Fuerza Nata. Boom, boom, we're, we're killing it. We're killing it, we're on top. If you look at the charts, it's pure Mexican. I always tell these guys, like, we gotta kind of learn how to celebrate more. We see number one, I'm, and I'm just like, well, all right, we're working. I just tell them, all right, next. tomorrow, next. Do that one? We feel good, of course, because we don't want to be not charting, right? But charting, let's go, next. Let's chart more. The hard work beats talent, always, but how we say it? A, a little, little bit, bit of luck, luck, a little bit of talent. And hard work. A lot of hard work. What gets me in the creative zone is knowing, like, hey, man, my mentality has to be like, not get comfortable. The people that get comfortable usually fall off, you know? So it's kind of like, hey, come on, bro, what's next? I think we just became a little too addicted to his work thing. Might be a problem, but it's a good problem. I've always liked the culture of the car scenes and truck scenes and stuff like that, but I never liked to be in it too much. I like getting the car, buying it, go, go pull up with them for a little bit. Like, I'll go pull up on the car scene and just dip, you know? I'm out, you know? We have a Urus, a Rolls Royce, a Ventador, a Lamborghini, an Audi R8. No, 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 no. 
people see you pull up in one of those cars, they would just want to talk to you more. When we got to pull up to an important place, we'll take the Rolls Royce. The Escalade is just to be comfortable, you know? One, two, three. When we start our concert in the U.S., we always come up with a little surprise and we always show them the Mexican side of us. So we, we dress vaquero too sometimes, you know, just to, to give a nice show. Sold out the BMO, thank God, the stadium, and then we go on from there. We got like 27, 30, we got a lot of dates this year. We're actually on tour right now in Mexico. Mi vecindario right now and mi vecindario. And it's not that much, not that big, but it's one of my favorite. Like I sing it, I get the chills, you know? I already started singing at the concert. I wouldn't sing it because it wasn't popping. But I was like, you know what, we're gonna sing it. And it made me feel good because they were singing the, the chorus a little bit. Not that loud like the other songs that we got, but it was still, they were still saying it. That's one of my favorite songs right now. That's pretty underground. We want to leave our music and our imprint for life in this genre. We got six years and they're strong and we want to keep on going and be known as and recognized as legends. <laughs>